In this short video, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and print your grades. So I'm in my grade book, and what I'm going to do is go ahead and run a report. So if I click on reports, I want to um, access a grade book summary. So once I select that, I get options for my report. Um, I'm going to get it as a PDF. You can have it um, in different formats. You can also have it um, emailed to you if you like. I'm just going to go ahead and do it as a PDF. So um, we can see that you can sort your um, assignments by number or by the due date. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as the default. Um, I'm also going to make sure that um, I go ahead and select all, so which by default all assignments are selected. Having done that, let me show you can, if you so wish, choose to um, print by category as well. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and select the options tab next. When I click on options, I get a report title. I can choose to include or not include inactive students. I can choose how I want the report to um, come out. Um, in the old days when we need to hide student name when we were posting it um, in class, then we would have changed these around. This is just for the end of year running of report uh, for documentation purposes. So we can leave it with the default. And then you have various options here. For myself, I don't need to necessarily see the class average. I do want to see a mark and a percentage. I do want to see the student grade, as in grade level. And then I'm going to make sure I show my assignment description. So we have a separate page that shows um, the title of the assignment in addition to the number. So I'm going to go ahead and run this report. And once it's run, you can download it. I'm just going to go ahead for now and view it. It's going to view it as a PDF. So having done so, when it pops up, you'll see you get your assignments, and then in addition to that you get a separate page which has a great book summary of um, each assignment by name and number that will align to the number of the assignment up here. So I hope this helps. Thanks.